Baseball is the American pastime. Football's Cowboys are America's team. But soccer is the world's game. Thanks to soccer, the Minnesota Thunder is about to check out another part of the world. Soccer isn't confusing. The only way you're going to get better is by playing better competition. I mean, everybody knows that. Learning Japanese can be. Well, of course, uh, konnichiwa is the, uh, the first one. It's just hi, how are you? Soccer in Japan will come together for the Minnesota Thunder next month. The Thunder is the first American pro soccer team to play in Japan. They go to San Diego February 7th for a week of training, then it's off to Japan for another week. There'll, there'll be some touring, although soccer's our first priority. These guys come to play, and they, they really want to show well. This is our chance to be on the international stage and show that we can really play soccer in Minnesota and have a, a team that can compete with the best in the world. <laughs> It is time to play some top international talent after three months of training every day in Minnesota. The Thunder will use the trip as a springboard into their season, which begins this spring. It's something to tell your kids. It's something to you know look back on. And with these kind of guys that you go with, they're, they're such good friends that it just, just makes it that much more fun. Haragaheta. Tim Foster lived in Japan for two years, so he'll play two roles on the trip, midfielder and tour guide. You know, I can get us to the uh, train station, to the field, and to the different places like that, I think, so, and get us food when we need it, that, that type of thing. Foster does notice a basic difference between the two cultures. I mean, how they react as, as a unit as opposed to um, an individual working for the good of the unit type of thing. They, they all work collectively, whereas we kind of work individually towards collective good. Type team. Thing. Great stuff for Yellow. As far as Japanese, there are two important things the Thunder wants to learn. Kachi. And more importantly, of course, there's always Hotel Iowa Doko Deska, where's the bathroom? Yes, you need to learn that question if you're traveling. The Thunder opens the season in April. Their home opener is May 19th against Ohio. You can call the Thunder line at 893-1442 for more information on the Thunder. But of course, the big story today around the country, around the world in sports. And finally tonight, the Minnesota Thunder pro soccer team got in one last practice tonight before the playoffs. They host New Orleans tomorrow night at the National Sports Center in Blaine. They've made a lot of acquisitions uh, throughout the season and because I've seen them on cable and, and they look pretty good. I, I know they had two all-stars up here a couple weeks ago playing and I know they're very good players so it'll, it'll be a it'll be a very good game. There are certain undeniable signs that summer is almost over. For example, the first day of high school football practice. There are also some less obvious indicators like postseason soccer. That's right, the playoffs are here. The Thunder holding one final tune-up tonight in preparation for tomorrow's matchup with New Orleans at the National Sports Complex. Minnesota finished the regular season strong, and with that in mind, head coach Buzz Lagos is raring to go. I, I think, you know, we've, we've done very well in our last uh, 12 games. I think we believe we won nine of our last 12 games, so I think we're upbeat and confident about our, our ability to play well and do well in the playoffs. New Orleans also is, is a team that's been doing well in recent weeks, so it's going to be a real, real contest tomorrow. Uh, it's not a sure game at all for us, and we know we have to come out and play well to do well. That's right. Postseason soccer is here. We wish Buzz and the boys well tomorrow. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks. Okay.